This is Dr. B, and let's divide 7 by 28. And before you say 4, hold on, because we're talking about 7 divided by 28. We could write it as 7 over 28. And you can see 28, that's less than 7. So 7 divided by 28, that's going to be a decimal. So here's how we can do this. We can take our 7 here, see how many times 28 goes into 7. So it doesn't go into 7, but let's put a decimal point and a 0 here. And as long as we put a decimal point up here, we can consider this to be 70. So 28 goes into 70, maybe 2 times 28. That would be 56. If you subtract, you would get 14. So 28 doesn't go into 14, but we can consider this 7.00. As long as we move over a place, we can bring that 0 down. And now 5 times 8 is 40. 5 times 20 is 100. So I think that works. 5 times 28 is 140. Subtract, no remainder. So 28 goes into 7.25 times. We could put a zero out here just so we make sure we don't forget about that decimal point. If you take 0 0.25 times 28, you will get 7. That's it. This is Dr. B. 7 divided by 28. The answer is 0 0.25. Thanks for watching.